Is the water cold? It's lovely and warm. <laughs> Steady on! <laughs> you started it, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Maybe that's enough splashing. <laughs> Whee! Daddy, I love being at the beach. Pepper and George love the beach. Everyone loves the beach. Pepper, George, would you like to play with your buckets and spades? Yes, please, Mummy. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, can we bury you in the sand? Uh, well... Please, Daddy. Oh, all right. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are burying Daddy Pig in the sand. Steady on! <laughs> <laughs> there. Now you can't escape. <laughs> my head is getting a bit hot. Can I have my straw hat? Well, if you say please. Please, can I have my straw hat? Yes, you may, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Oh, maybe I'll just have a little sleep. <laughs> <laughs> George, let's make sandcastles. Pepper and George are making sandcastles. First, we put sand in the buckets, like this. We turn the buckets upside down and tap them. And lift the bucket up. Hey, presto! A sandcastle. Hey, presto! Another sandcastle. Pepper, George, home time. The beach is covered in snow. Oh. oh! That sea looks cold. I was looking forward to having a swim. You still can. The sea's not frozen over. Come along, girls. What are you waiting for? Um, I can't swim because I've sprained my ankle. And I think I might have a cough. <laughs> Come on in, Mummy Pig. It's lovely. Are you sure it's lovely? Of course. The sea is wonderful today. OK, then. Mummy Pig is going for a swim. <laughs> is it cold, Mummy? It's a little bit cold. It always feels cold when you first get in. If you keep moving, you'll warm up. OK, I'll keep moving. Mummy Pig has run out of the sea. Let's get you dry. Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are warming Mummy Pig up by rubbing her with towels. Oh, that's better. <laughs> are you going for a swim, Daddy Pig? Maybe not today. Who wants an ice cream? Me, me, me! Everyone likes ice creams at the seaside. I wanted to make sand castles, but the beach is covered in snow. We can make snow castles. Ooh. First, we fill the buckets with snow. <laughs> we turn the buckets upside down, give them a little tap, and hey presto, a snow castle. Snow castles! the seaside and I love the snow. I love the seaside and the snow. <laughs> <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready, steady, now Peppa! Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready? <laughs> George 
George wants to go surfing. <laughs> Sorry, George, you're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Carly. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Oh, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. Me. Sorry, Richard, I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Pepper. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy, your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Pepper. I told you I wouldn't splash. Clever, <laughs> Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Yeah. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> This looks like fun. I'll be able to cycle and watch TV at the same time. It's impossible. This bike is too noisy. I can't hear the TV. You've got to get fit somehow. I know. You can use my bicycle. Yes, and then you'll get some fresh air as well. Daddy Pig is going to ride on Peppa's little bicycle. Daddy, these are the pedals. These are the brakes, and this is the bell. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa, I know. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is pie. <laughs> Getting fit is quite hard work. <sighs> now I can get fit without having to pedal. Daddy Pig is going very fast. Oh, maybe I'd better slow down. Ah, the brakes aren't strong enough. Help! <laughs> Daddy Pig has been gone for a long time. Mummy, where can Daddy be? Don't worry, Peppa. Daddy must be really enjoying himself to be away for so long. <laughs> I wish.
whizzed all the way down the hill. Then I had to push the bike all the way back up again. Oh, poor Daddy Pig. Well, at least I've done my exercise. Yes, for today. What do you mean? You'll have to do some more exercise tomorrow. What? Daddy, to get fit, you have to exercise every day. Oh, no. But don't worry, Daddy. I'll make sure you do it. Yes, I know you will. <laughs> I need you brave explorers to go and get the fruit. Aye, aye, aye Granny Pig. Pig. We've got baskets for the apples. And buckets for the blackberries. First, the easy bit, picking apples. On the count of three, shake the tree. One, two, three! <laughs> now for the blackberries. Why don't we just have apple crumble? Because blackberries are tasty too, Grandpa. OK, now the hard bit. Now that's what I call a blackberry bush. This bush has been here since I was a little piggy. It's an overgrown weed. I should have cut it down years ago. Grandpa, why don't you like it? I don't like the way it looks at me. Silly Grandpa, it's just a harmless bush. And it's covered in lovely blackberries. George has seen some really big, juicy blackberries. Mm. Careful, George, or you might get tangled. <laughs> I have a stick for picking hard to reach blackberries. <laughs> Grandpa. But the best blackberries are right at the very top. That's why I've brought the ladder. Um, don't lean too far over, Mummy Pig. Don't worry. I've been climbing this blackberry bush since I was a little girl. Yes, but you're not a little girl now. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. Mummy Pig has fallen into the blackberry bush. Mummy, can you get out? Uh, no. I'm stuck. You're stuck in a thorny bush like Sleeping Beauty. What? Once upon a time, there was a princess called Sleeping Beauty. One day, she fell asleep in a thorny bush. This is nice. Daddy, you have to be the scarecrow. What? Oh! Shoo! Shoo! Naughty birds! Now, stay there until the birdies go to bed. Ho, oh, oh. ho! OK, Peppa. All the birdies have gone to bed. Daddy Pig can go inside now. <laughs> it is morning. George, let's look at our flower garden. <laughs> Ooh, baby plants. Morning. Ah, your plants have started to grow. Soon they'll have flowers on them. A little snail has come to take a look. Oh, dear. Snails like eating plants. Grandpa Pig, can you take Barbara to your garden? Um, OK. I'll take care of Barbara. It is one week later. Peppa! George! Come and look! My flowers! They're so pretty! And look at George's plant. It's a beanstalk. And it goes all the way up to a giant's castle. Oh, oh, no, Peppa. But it does go quite high. George's flower is taller than our house. Oh, ho, ho. George has grown a sunflower. Well done, George. <laughs> I love our flower garden. Now let's make you a vegetable garden. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. Like tomatoes, carrots and potatoes. I do like a nice potato. Daddy Pig loves potatoes. <laughs> Everyone loves <laughs> potatoes. <laughs> Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. 
We've met before. Ah, uh, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers, always falling gently in Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George. Peppa and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up. What? Like this? <gasps> Watch out! Whoa! Ah! I did it! The boomerang has flown all the way back to Pepper. <laughs> what was that? It's a boomerang, Daddy. Ah, uh, yes. You have to throw it hard and then it comes back. Allow me to show you, Mr. Pig. Are you ready? One, two, three, throw! So, when does it come back? Ah. Keep a good lookout, kids. That boomerang could be anywhere. I think we might have found it. Hello. This is Mr Wallaby. He is the next-door neighbour. Uh, hi, Mr Wallaby. I was, uh, just teaching these kids how to throw a boomerang. Sorry about your window. Well, there's no worries there, mate. What's a broken window between friends? <laughs> Mr Wallaby is a very nice neighbour. Don't let it happen again, though. Thanks. Like I was saying, to throw a boomerang, you need to throw it hard. What? Like this? That's it, Daddy! It's coming back! Here she comes! Here she comes! Catch it, Mr Pig! Ah, missed it! <gasps> oh, no! The boomerang has broken another window. Well, <laughs> I think we should be going. Well, you've still got some windows left. Hey, no! You can't leave until I've had a go. Let me show your mates how a boomerang should be thrown. Thanks, Mr Wallaby. Ah, uh, don't mention it. That's what neighbours are for. <laughs> now, the trick is you need to throw the boomerang more upright. Like this. Ooh. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's a good throw. Here it comes. It's good. It's looking... Oh, no! Someone catch it! Oh, dear. The boomerang has broken another window. is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. 
This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well, catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello. <laughs> Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Let's race to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. If we race to Daddy's pumpkin, we have to be very careful not to bump into it. <coughs> Daddy would be very sad if the pumpkin got broken. Don't worry, Peppa. Race you! <laughs> Peppa and her friends are racing to Daddy Pig's pumpkin. Hey, watch out for my pumpkin! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, look out! Daddy's pumpkin! Ah! Sorry, Daddy. <coughs> look at George, he's going so slowly. <laughs> George is still riding a baby bike. <coughs> Yours is a baby bike too, Peppa. You've still got stabilisers. I can ride without my stabilisers. <laughs> me too! And me! <coughs> Let's ride up the hill again. Are you coming, Peppa? No, I think I'll stay here. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Peppa wishes she did not have stabilisers on her bicycle. Daddy, I don't want stabilisers anymore. Do you think you can ride without them? Yes. All right, Peppa. Let's take them off. Daddy Pig is taking the stabilisers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilisers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can, I can. Ah. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilisers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry, I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Marching along, beating your drums. That's it! Marvellous marching, children. Wasn't that fun? Yes, my <laughs> The next piece of music is a little bit different. Remember, I want you to listen to it carefully and think about how it makes you feel. This music is about space. <laughs> it's an alien birthday party. Uh, what is wrong with this machine? <laughs> Robots from the future. <laughs> Hello, I'm an alien. Beep, beep, bloop, bloop. I am a robot. I am a robot. Zing, zong, zing. <laughs> this is the best music yet. No, no, I think the machine is broken. 
again. There. Oh. Now tell me, how does this make you feel? It makes me feel a bit bored. <sighs> it makes me feel tired. Has the music machine gone wrong again? No, this is music. It reminds me of a lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man, a broken heart. Please, can we have the space music again? Th that was not music, it was the machine gone wrong. Do you not like this music? No. Madam Gazelle, can you make the machine go wrong again? No. Oh. I suppose we cannot all like the same things in life. I liked the space music. And me. me. And, and me. me. And me. And me. OK, OK. What does this music make you think of? I know, I know. This music makes me think of jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Swish, splash, splash, swish, splash. You have to twitch your nose and squeak like this. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> Very good, Peppa Rabbit and George Rabbit. Peppa likes being a rabbit. George likes being a rabbit. Rabbits like carrots. Delicious. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yuck. George does not like carrots. He won't even try them. Oh, well, more for us then. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what else do rabbits like? Rabbits like hopping. Come outside, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hop. <laughs> rabbits like hopping. You're very good, Rabbit. Lunchtime, children! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy and Daddy Rabbit have prepared lunch. Squeak. Rebecca has taught us how to be rabbits. Squeak! Squeak! Oh, ho, ho. you'll enjoy lunch then. It's our favourite carrots. Delicious! Delicious! Yuck! <laughs> George will not eat carrots. Oh dear, George. I thought you were a rabbit. Rabbits love carrots. Squeak! Squeak! Mmm. Wow! George is eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> and this is our favourite cake. Carrot cake. Hooray! Mmm. Carrot cake. <laughs> George is a proper rabbit now. Squeak! <laughs> Come and see my carrots. Grandpa Pig is very proud of his vegetables. Ooh. And here are my peas. Oh. But best of all are my lettuces. Oh no, my lettuces. I think the birds have eaten them, Grandpa. Yes, birds. Why didn't Mr Scarecrow scare them away? Because the birds that ate my lettuces are very stupid. What's the matter, Grandpa Pig? Your friends have been eating my vegetables again. Which friends? Tom, Dick and Harry. <coughs> Those aren't their names. Granny Pig has chickens. Wow! Say hello to Jemima, Sarah and Vanessa. Hello. <laughs> and here is Neville. <coughs> is Neville a boy chicken? Yes, Peppa. He's a cockerel. He's the worst, scratching up my vegetables. Neville wouldn't hurt a fly. I've seen him eat flies. <coughs> and he ate my lettuce. You don't want to eat Grandpa's lettuce, do you? <coughs> Not when there's lovely corn to eat. <coughs> Come on, this way home. <coughs> Peppa, George, would you like to feed corn to the chickens? Yes, please, Granny. 
Here you are, chicken. Eat up. Ooh, you've got a Wendy house. That's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens lay their eggs. Eggs? I can't see any eggs. Not now, but there will be eggs soon. Ooh. It is bedtime for Pepper and George at Granny and Grandpa's house. <laughs> Our baby. Mm. Oh, here it is. Mm. Oh, he keeps turning his head. Mm. Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth. And in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Peppa, do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No. Mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander is having a bath. <laughs> this is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. But he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes. Five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> The washing machine is making the whole room shake. <laughs> oh, Peppa, where's your dress? I'm washing it. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Look, Mummy, my red dress is all nice and clean. Yes, Peppa, but look what it's done to everything else. Oh, dear. Peppa's red dress has made all the white clothes pink. Pink isn't a very good colour for a football shirt. Ooh! Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig, we've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends, Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic! Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! Yay! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your 
your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Peppa. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. Big children don't splash. We're very good at swimming. When George and Richard are older, they'll be able to swim like us. Won't they, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> oh. Richard has a toy watering can. Stop it, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Richard has dropped his watering can into the pool. Sorry, Richard. I can't reach. It's too far down. Mummy! I can't swim underwater. Even I can't swim underwater. Hmm. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. <sighs> Hooray! <laughs> there you go. Well done, Daddy Pig. I am rather good at swimming underwater. <laughs> <laughs> uh? <laughs> the watering can is for babies. Can we jump off the diving boards now? Sorry, Peppa. Diving boards are only for grown-ups. Oh. oh. Cheer up, you two. You can watch me dive. Silly Daddy. Your tummy is too big. <laughs> Nonsense. I won trophies for my diving when I was younger. That was quite a long time ago, Daddy Pig. It's lucky I've kept myself so fit and strong. Please hold my glasses, Mummy Pig. You'll get a better view if you watch me from the side. Please don't splash us with water, Daddy. Of course I won't splash you, Pepper. I think I need a higher board. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. Yes, don't splash us, Daddy. <laughs> don't worry, Peppa. Don't splash us with water, Daddy. I told you I wouldn't splash. <laughs> Clever, Daddy. Well done, Daddy Pig. No need for my towel. I've got a special way of drying myself. Daddy Pig has splashed everyone with water. Daddy Pig! Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I like sand. I like sea. I like Susie to skip with me. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ping. I like Pong. I like Zoe to skip along. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Let's see who can skip the most without stopping. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Zoe wins. Hooray! 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 Nay! <laughs> Petro, do you want to do some skipping? No, thanks, Peppa. I'm hula hooping. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wiggle waggle wee. Hula hoop. Hula hoop. One, two, three. Ooh. How many can you do without stopping? A million and three. Wow. That's a lot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight. I'm a bit tired. I'll do the rest later. <laughs> Can you do hula hoops, Emily? I can do them my own special way. Emily Elephant is hula hooping with her trunk. Hooray! I think that was about 100. <laughs> George wants to play leapfrog. George likes playing leapfrog. <laughs> leapfrog, everybody! <laughs> One, two, three!
Playtime is over. <laughs> George has found an enormous bone. Dinosaur. <laughs> it might very well be a dinosaur bone, George. Ha! What's this? Grandpa Pig has found a gold coin. It's treasure, Grandpa. How is the pond coming along? Very well. We've dug up a cup, a dinosaur bone and a coin. It's buried treasure. How exciting. I have a little treasure too. That is not treasure. That is a gnome. Grandpa Pig does not like gnomes. Mr Fox says it's an antique. Very rare. One of a kind. Of course he did. Grandpa, do you think we really have found buried treasure? I'm not sure, but the museum would know. This is the museum. Hello, can I help you? Hello, Mr Rabbit. We've dug up some treasure. Let's take a look at what you've got. Mmm, a fine china cup. Interesting. What else have you brought to show me? A coin. Made of gold. Is it real plastic gold? No, it's metal gold. Ooh. Anything else? <laughs> My goodness, this bone is the best of a lot. Look, it fits my dinosaur perfectly. Hooray! Thank you so much for bringing these valuable objects in. Valuable? So they are worth something? Oh, yes. They are worth lots of money. And you can visit the museum any time you like to see them. Eh? Children are free. And you, sir, get in half price because you are old. Can I just ask where you dug up such treasures? In Grandpa's garden. All digging must stop until an expert has been to investigate. Mummy Rabbit, is there really a baby rabbit in your tummy? Yes. Would you like to listen to it? Yes, please. Can you hear a little heartbeat? Yes, I can. It's going boom, boom, boom. Oh, it just moved. Yes, sometimes babies give a little kick. Nay. What will you call it? I don't know. Would you children like to think of a name? Yes, please. Hello, Mummy Rabbit. <coughs> Would you like a cup of coffee? I can't have coffee, but I am quite hungry. Would you like a carrot? I'm a bit off carrot. Have you got any potatoes? Yes, we do. Maybe a potato with jelly and cheese and strawberry jam, please. Yeah. <laughs> a potato with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam? What a funny mixture of food. We need to think of a name for the baby. Yes. If the baby is a girl, she'll be called Rachel Rabbit. Or how about Ruth Rabbit? Roxanne Rabbit. Sharon Rabbit. I don't think so, Pedro. Sharon Rabbit sounds wrong. I like Rosie. Rosie Rabbit. It's perfect. But what if the baby is a boy? Oh. How about... Rufus Rabbit. Raymond Rabbit. Michael Rabbit. Michael Rabbit? No. Robbie Rabbit. Yes, Robbie Rabbit. Thank you for the potatoes with jelly, cheese and strawberry jam, Mummy Pig. My pleasure. We thought of a name for the baby. Rosie if it's a girl and Robbie if it's a boy. They're lovely names. It's sad that the baby can't have both names. Oh, my tummy! It's all that funny food you've been eating. I don't think so, Daddy Rabbit. The baby is coming. Right, to the hospital. Quickly now, don't panic. Bye! Are we going in an ambulance? No, the mountains are too far away. We'll go in my aeroplane. Ooh! Aeroplane! Yeah. George loves aeroplanes. All aboard! Up, up and away! 
I didn't know you had an aeroplane, Dr. Hamster. Oh, yes. I'm the flying vet. Thank goodness. The vet's here. Stand aside. Vet coming through. Where is the sick lizard? Here it is. Oh, poor little pickle. What is wrong with the lizard? It seems to be upside down. I just flip it over. There. Dr Hamster has made the lizard better. Hooray! Oh, another emergency. Hello? Hello. Uh, Grandpa Pig here. Grandpa Pig is out sailing his boat. It's Polly. She's a sick parrot. Ah, uh, sick parrot. I'll be right there. Look, Polly, it's the flying vet. Where are we going to land? This is a seaplane, Pepper. We can land on the water. Wow! Hello, <laughs> Pepper. George. Hello, Grandpa. We've come to make Polly better. How long has Polly been sick? Since we came out on our boat trip. Aha! Uh -huh. I know what's wrong with Polly. She's seasick. Oh! Get Polly to dry land. The sooner the better. There's an island! There we go. Better, Polly? Ah, uh, better, Polly! Hooray! <laughs> Something not bouncy. <laughs> George has made the toy basket into a volcano. Richard is using toy trees to make a jungle. George has used the building blocks to make a river. Dinosaur! George and Richard have turned the bedroom into dinosaur land. I'm leaving. It's too noisy. Potato. And I say potato. 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 The good thing about rainy days potato. is we get to watch important potato. TV programs. Potato. 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 Mummy, George and Richard have made the bedroom into dinosaur land, and dinosaur land is very noisy. <laughs> George has his best friend here, but I've got no one to play with. You could ask Susie Sheep to come over. Susie Sheep is Peppa's best friend. Can Susie really come over now? Let's ring her. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep speaking. Susie, it's me. Can you come to my house now? Yes, Peppa. Can I wear my nurse's costume? Yes, but come quickly. Bye-bye, <laughs> <laughs> Susie. I'll be back to... Quick, Susie! ...pick you up later. <laughs> George, Richard, Nurse Susie is here. And Nurse Susie says this is not dinosaur land, it's a hospital. And a hospital must be clean and tidy. The bedroom is not dinosaur land anymore. Are we lost, Daddy Pig? <laughs> Don't worry, I know exactly where we are. This way. Oof. Who put that tree there? Daddy Pig has walked into a tree. Are you OK, Daddy Pig? Yes, I'm fine. This way. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. I don't think we'll ever find our house again. <laughs> I'm sure we will, Peppa. We're only in our garden. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Have you lost your pond? <laughs> We're lost too. We are not lost. I know exactly where we are. <laughs> See you later, ducks. Good luck finding your pond. Whoa. Oh! 
Daddy Pig has found the duck pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, Mrs Duck says thank you. You're most welcome, Mrs Duck. <laughs> 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 Now, let's find our house. I'm sure it's this way. Hello? Did you hear something? Yes, I thought I heard someone say... Hello? It's Mummy Rabbit with Rebecca and Richard. Hello, Peppa. We're lost. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. We're lost too. We wanted to go to the playground. So did we, but it's too foggy to get there. Come on, everyone. Back to our house until the fog clears. Daddy Pig, do you know where you're going? Yes, of course I do. This way. Yes, yes Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Aha! I've found our little hill. We'll soon be home. Hooray! Our house should be just about here. Oh. Daddy Pig has found a ladder. That's strange. We don't have a ladder in our garden. Goodness me! Can you see where we are, Daddy Pig? Yes, I can! <laughs> Daddy, where are we? Why don't you have a look? OK. Wow! Wow! I can see everything again. The fog is going away. <laughs> We're at the playground. Hooray! Whee! We're at the playground. We're at the playground. Whee! She's flown into a tree. Where? Here, Peppa. Look through the binoculars. The binoculars make everything look bigger. I can see one, two, three baby birds. Ah, oh, I wonder what they're eating. Yeah, they're eating worms. That's disgusting. <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes, but it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. How are we going to find our little car? George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck, we haven't got a picnic this time. Peppa, what have you got in your lunchbox? A red apple. I've got a green apple. Let's swap. OK. <laughs> Peppa, Susie, what are you doing? Susie told me to open my lunchbox. Peppa told me to swap our apples. Oh, that's fine. But please, save some food for the picnic. Yes, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus. You can make it. Come on, bus. Pepper and her friends are at the top of the mountain. 
Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains. Like this. Yodle! 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 <laughs> Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Pepper loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Pepper. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <laughs> oh. Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? The ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Daddy Pig is home from work. Hello, everyone. Hello, Daddy. Uh, Daddy Pig? We've got a bit of a problem and, um... <laughs> Tell me later, Mummy Pig. I've got to get ready for football. Now, where's my football shirt? Here. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. That's one of Mummy's dresses. It's pink. No, Daddy. It's your football shirt. It got a bit muddy. So we washed it. And it all went a bit wrong. Sorry, Daddy. But I can't wear a pink football shirt. Why not, Daddy? Pink is a lovely colour. Hmm. What do you think, George? Yuck! George does not like pink. Here are Daddy Pig's friends. Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Moo! Is Daddy Pig coming out to play? He'll just be a moment. My team are in white. I need a white shirt. But, Daddy, you have a white shirt. Just take off your jacket. See? Fantastic. Thank you, Pepper. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, oh, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Like your shirt. Very smart. Thank you. Come on, let's play football. Yes! <laughs> Go! Hooray! Hooray! Daddy, you've made your shirt all muddy. <laughs> of course, Pepper. Football shirts are meant to be muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig loves playing football. Everyone loves playing football, especially when it's muddy. <laughs> Now, you must run to the real Windy Castle. Oh. Ready, steady, go! Hooray! Come on, Daddy Pig! You can make it! Come on, Pass! You can make it! The school bus has made it to Windy Castle. Now everyone can enjoy the picnic. Water. Water. What a lovely hot day. And such a relaxing way to raise money, too. Water. Water. Daddy Pig has reached the supermarket. All the running has made him very thirsty. Let's look through the telescope. I can see Daddy. The telescope makes everything look closer. Oh, he's not going very fast. Daddy Pig has arrived at Grandad Dog's garage. Oh, that's it. I can't go on. Daddy has stopped. Oh. You look rather hot. You need something to cool you down and give you energy. Have an ice lolly. Thank you, Grandad Dog. That's nice. Ah, a wasp. Shoo, shoo. Get away, you little pest. The wasp wants to share Daddy Pig's ice lolly. No! 
this is my lolly. Daddy started running again, really fast. Hooray! Ah, get off! Get off! You can stop now, Daddy Pig. We have enough money to fix the school roof. Ah! Daddy Pig has lost the wasp. 